Hey guys, Patrick here. I'm a PhD student at Oxford and in this series I share the best study tips and hacks that I've been using myself. Today's video is on how to read a research paper. This video will be split into two main parts, quickly assessing a paper and reading a full paper. Use the chapters down below to navigate between these two parts. Right, let's do it. First, read the abstract to see if this paper actually is worth reading completely or partly. When you read the abstract, think about how relevant this paper is for you. For example, if the abstract shows that the paper addresses one specific question that I'm looking for, then I will likely read it in full. However, if it's just an overview of the broader field or a review, and I'm somewhat familiar with it already, I might read a specific section of that paper. All of this should be clear in the abstract. Second, read the last paragraph of the introduction. It outlines what they will do and the reasons for doing it. Third, read the first paragraph of the discussion. This will list the main conclusions of the paper. Fourth, once you understand what the paper is about and what the general approach is of the paper, then look at the key figures and the tables. It tells you everything about what they found. Look out for that one figure or table that supports the main points of the paper. Based on this, you can decide for yourself if the data strongly supports the main conclusion. If it does, consider reading the paper in full. For example, the first sentence of the figure's description will tell you what the figure is about. Then, you can find that section in the paper where they talk about this and see if the data supports that point. On the left, it's passive reading. You go from the top to bottom, but you likely won't fundamentally understand what the paper did in one way or another. Instead, do active reading, where you approach the paper with specific questions in your mind so you try to find the answers in a focused way. Once you decide that you want to read a paper in full, this is what you do. First, read the abstract and introduction while you keep the following four questions in mind. 1. What is the question that the authors are trying to address, and why is it important? Two. If this were my thesis project, what kind of experimental approach can I take in tackling the problem? 3. What kind of data would I need to generate in order to support the conclusions of this paper? 4. How would this conclusion fit into my previous understanding of this subject? Second, predict what figures are needed at each stage of the paper in order to produce the evidence based on this study. Then compare the data produced in the figure versus what you anticipate it to be. You work through the figures one by one in the paper and anticipate how the data and argument will be developed. Third, compare your conclusions with the author's conclusions. Are their conclusions justified? There are many ways in reading a research paper and may even differ depending on the field of study. However, this method worked for me and my peers and was also taught to us at the start of the PhD program here at Oxford. Reading a research paper takes time and effort. In my case, it can range from 30 minutes to an entire afternoon if it's a complex paper where I need to familiarize myself with the background. But the steps discussed in this video helped me better understand papers and allowed me to read papers much more effectively. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below what study tips you want to explore and I will try to answer them in future videos. Thank you.